Hello and welcome to another of our online Messy Churches. You may know by now we are unable to hold our Messy Church sessions in the Community Centre for a while. We hope you enjoy our online videos in the meantime. As it is the beginning of the new year, we are going to talk about the church calendar again as we did last year. This will help remind us of all the events to come in the next 12 months. We will have our usual songs and a craft activity for you all to join in with. Wishing you all the very best for the year to come and stay safe and well and be mindful of others. Enjoy. The church year is divided into several seasons. It begins in December with Advent, when we look forward to Christmas. The visit of the wise men is remembered at Epiphany, after which there is a period of ordinary time. 
the six weeks of Lent prepare us for Easter, which celebrates Jesus' resurrection, leading to his ascension and the gift of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. <coughs> Ordinary time then resumes until the end of the year. So-called ordinary time is hardly that. It allows for more continuous reading from the Bible, for the exploration of other themes, such as Jesus' teachings and saints' days. We start with Advent. The season of Advent marks the start of the Christian year. It is a season of expectation and preparation as the church looks forward to celebrating the birth of Jesus. For many Christians, preparation for the coming of Jesus is a powerful reminder of the real meaning of the coming season. Many churches use an Advent wreath of candles to mark the Sundays of Advent, lighting a new candle each week, with the centre candle being lit on Christmas Day. Next is Christmas time. The celebration of Jesus coming amongst us at Christmas is one of the two main aspects of the Christian year, along with the story of Christ's death and the resurrection at Easter. One of the challenges for Christians is to continue the celebration of Christmas long after the rest of the world turns its attention elsewhere. Historically, Christmas would have extended celebrations at least until Epiphany, 12 days later. Epiphany. The Feast of the Epiphany, which always falls on the 6th of January, marks the beginning of a season which recognises Jesus to be the Son of God. The word Epiphany means manifestation or appearance and the Feast of the Epiphany marks the recognition of the newborn Jesus by the three wise men, and later, the world. The traditional service for this feast includes a procession of candles, and so it is often known as Candle Mass. Ordinary time. This is the season between Christmas tide and Lent. In this season, the Church celebrates the public teachings of Jesus from his baptism to the time of his final suffering and death at Easter.
The next section is Lent. Ash Wednesday marks the start of Lent, a season of preparation for Easter. Lent is often described as lasting 40 days, excluding Sundays, which records the Bible's account of Jesus' temptation in the wilderness. From the Middle Ages onward, it has been a custom to begin Lent by having a sign of the cross marked on one's forehead in ash. We celebrate Pancake Day at this time. Holy Week begins with Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. This is the beginning of a journey which takes us to the Upper Room for the Last Supper on Monday, Thursday. Through Jesus' betrayal, trial and crucifixion on Good Friday. On Easter Day, we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. In the church today, it provides a real understanding of new life as people are baptised and baptismal promises are renewed. Since the late 4th century, on the 40th day of Easter, the church celebrates Christ's ascension to heaven. Ascension. This marks the end of Jesus' earthly teachings and the Feast of the Ascension is therefore closely connected with the theme of mission. The season of Easter is celebrated for 50 days, ending in the day of Pentecost. Pentecost. The Feast of Pentecost celebrates the Holy Spirit coming on the disciples, empowering them for their teachings to the world. The Final Ordinary Time between Eastertime and Advent, the Church continues to celebrate the public teachings of Jesus and the work of the Apostles or Disciples after Jesus' Ascension. This brings us back to Advent and the beginning of a new Church year. So, for those who weren't paying attention, Advent is when we prepare for Jesus' birth. Christmas celebrates the birth of Jesus and Epiphany is a season which recognises Jesus to be the Son of God. The first ordinary time is when the Church celebrates the public teachings of Jesus, and Lent is the time we prepare for Easter, with Easter Day celebrating the resurrection of Jesus. We also remember Jesus' ascension to heaven and the Holy Spirit descending on the disciples. During the final ordinary time between Eastertide and Advent, we continue to celebrate the public teachings of Jesus and the work of the Apostles or Disciples after Jesus' Ascension. There will be a test later! Our Father in Heaven, Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and evermore. Amen. To the left.